and institutions can put his people in a position commensurate with their possibilities, the sky is the limit. I mean, it is limitless. There's no reason the nation of Africa cannot and should not join the ranks of the world's most prosperous nations in the near term, in the decades ahead. There's that's simply no reason. The nation of Africa. Welcome to Give Me Five. Silly me, I thought Africa was a continent. And if a conservative stood there, if George W. Bush stood there and said that, not only would he be the world's biggest idiot, but there'd be a little racism in there too. You know, thinking that Africa's a, a nation. This guy gets away with everything. He got away with calling the president when he was running for president, the first clean, articulate black man to run for president. He got away with saying the education in Iowa is better than in D.C. because how many minorities you have in Iowa? 5%? Look what you got in D.C. He got away with saying you can't go into a Dunkin' Donuts or a 7-Eleven without talking, without having an in way with it because he's got a D next to his name. And every idiotic, moronic statement he makes, it's, ha, <laughs> he's so funny because he's a Democrat. If he were a Republican, he never would have survived those, what I believe to be a pattern of racist remarks. And he'd be lambasted. says, you know, ha, <laughs> ha, there he goes again. Good old Joe. It's sad. It's sad that in a country of 350 million people, this is the best we could do for the man a heartbeat away, God forbid, from the presidency of the United States. Now, he was out talking about immigration also yesterday. Watch. And I... Uh... I wish I had a more perfect solution for you. I wish I were able to say, this is, these are all the assets we have. This is the cooperation we're getting from the United States Congress. And even if we got all the cooperation, it's still going to be hard. This is still hard. Yeah, it's very hard. You getting that impression? It's, it's, it's hard, right, Joe? Right? Even if we passed the immigration bill, it wouldn't solve it all. Even if we had the this is really hard stuff really hard stuff what a deep thinker this is the man who's vice president of the united states it's hard it's really hard it's really hard stuff that's the best he could do well, at least he's not you know i don't know calling them whatever i don't know some kind of cockamamie name that would be totally off the wall but get this these kids who are coming here illegally now they're our kids that's right watch you know, uh, these are not somebody else's kids. These are our kids. These are the children that lift the national ambitions of each of these countries aloft. Does anybody know what he's talking about? Does he know what he's talking about? It's like he's, you know, he's still got, uh, they're giving him the signal, he's still got two minutes left, Joe, uh, well, Mr. Vice President, and he's just, you know, it's hard stuff. It's really hard stuff. These are not their kids. They're our kids. What are you talking about? But it's very scary that he labels these kids who have come here, you know, because their parents pay $8,000 to these drug cartels and, uh, and coyotes to get them here. Now they're, they're our kids. They're our kids. Wow. What a leap that is. Uh, one more. It's a tragedy for the countries who are losing them and for us not being able to solve every one of their problems. Yeah, you know, it's a real tragedy that we can't take in every single child in the whole wide world, from the country of Africa, perhaps, and everywhere else uh, that has problems that are escaping poverty, violence, you name it. We should welcome every single one of them into this country because, according to Joe Biden, they are our kids. They're our kids. Uh, folks, we have to have sanctity of borders. We have to have, we have, to have laws, laws that are respected. Uh, otherwise, we are no longer a nation. And some in the Obama administration might like that. On the Steve Malsberg Show, Newsmax Television.